Did you know you can have relative times in cobalt? Relative times are very powerful, and they're often used for moving lights or effects. And what that means, simply, is that instead of giving part of your look, your cue, a real time, you can tell it to use a percentage of some other time as its value. This lets you make changes to something simple like the in time of a crossfade and have that change how moving lights will perform. So in this example, we're looking at the preset list on the left-hand side, and we're looking at the main playback, just so you remember what's relative to what. If I were to look, for example, at preset 21, you can see over here that my focus time, color time, and beam time values for most of these presets, actually, is 100%. Preset 21 is loaded up and ready to go on my main playback, and it has a crossfade time of one second. You can see the focus, color, and beam lines of the graphical crossfade timeline follow that one second fade exactly. And that's because the 100% time here is 100% of the in time on the crossfade. If I change the time on preset 21 from one second to 10 seconds, for example, you'll notice those lines don't change. And now, very naturally, when I hit go, focus, color, and beam will also take 10 seconds. They're just going to track along at 100% of whatever that in time setting is. If I want to make a change to that, I can look in my preset list, and instead of 100% time, I could say I want 50% time. And I'm just going to reload this. And now you'll see. The focus bar in this graphic is only one half of the crossfade, and that's because the focus time on this preset is 50% of the in time. So if I change the time on the crossfade to three seconds, for example, it's still half the crossfade. It still completes halfway through, but now halfway through is a second and a half. So Typically, we keep these times at 100% because it just makes sense to follow the in time of your crossfade. But you can make very powerful changes by changing these percentage values in the preset list, or you can make these timing changes when you record by using the Times tab in the Record dialog. Here you can see those 100% times and the possibility to also set percentages for delays. In all cases, you can also set real time. So if I don't really want the focus to take 50%, I want it to take two seconds, for example. In this case, I can just type two modify, and I get a value of two seconds in that spot. That's a real time. If I really meant 2%, what I would want to enter is two alt modify. And that's how I get the percentage value there. The reason for that is because of a default setting in the console. So using setup and time, I can get this dialog, which shows me the settings for all timing functions in the desk. And you'll see the second one is time, use percentage as default. If you're going to use this function a lot with percentage timing, you might want to check that box. Most people think in real time values, however, and so that's why the default is to have that switched off. I'll put this back to 100%. Everybody will be happy. Delay times can also be percentage. The default is to have no delay, and that means that when I hit go, my moving light attributes are going to also execute at the same time. But maybe I want the focus to start, well, let's rephrase, have the focus take half the time, but start halfway in. So reload this queue, and now you'll notice I've moved the focus bar away from the initial point of this crossfade to halfway through. So now when I hit go, it's going to wait a second and a half, because I have a three second crossfade time, before executing the focus parameters in a second and a half. So halfway through the end time, execute the focus parameters in half of the end time.